Hello, welcome to Blue Lightning Healing Meditations. I'm Susie Parker Goins. I'm a channel, a healer, a teacher, and a guide. Um, you can find me on the web here on YouTube. Click like and comment and subscribe and all that. And uh, you can find me at www.bluelightninghealing.com. I have links for previous podcasts there. Mondays are meditations and Thursdays are my thoughts on different meta uh, metaphysical pro topics. Uh, the best way to get a hold of me is um, through email at suzypgoins at gmail.com. Uh, yeah, let's go into it. Today's topic is intention. Um, I could say t intention is everything and that's all you need and blah, blah, blah. But there's really a whole lot more. A definition of intention is purpose, an aim or a goal. Whether you accomplish it or not, you still have set an intention. Anyone needs or can set an intention. Everyone can. Um, where do you set intention? Well, you set them in your mind and in your heart. And you can set them any time you need one. When you start out a new day, before you get out of bed, you can set the intention to have a productive day or to have your day come from a place of love or um, compassion or to envision the best possible outcome for everything in your day. Coping well, that sort of thing. Uh, when you go to bed, before you go to sleep at night, you can set an intention to have excellent rest, to recover physically or emotionally, to have to remember your dreams or to do spiritual work anything really you can set them so much you can set your intentions for um you can start you can set an intention when you start a new project or a new task at your job set the intention for all the information to come quickly and easily for everything to come together nicely for it to be accepted uh, to do i think a good general intention is to do your best and when you pay bills you set your intention you're grateful for the money you have to pay your bills to to uh, provide living wages for the employees who provide the goods or services and for the company you can set that intention understanding the company could go out and help improve the community with the money you've paid in so you're seeing the best possible outcome for the money that comes through it's a blessing you're asking for. And so next is how does intention affect your spiritual life? It gives you direction. If your intention is to walk, say, gently upon the earth, you're going to be guided to change habits, right? So using less plastic or eating more organic food or recycling, reevaluating your your drive time and all that. You've set the intention and you're guided, you are directed to um, accomplish that end. When you set your intention for a spirit for your spiritual life, you're gonna focus on those practices which raise your frequency. For instance, coming from a place of love. That's that's a big one. If you can work on that one, you will find that you will be working on developing compassion, working on forgiveness, uh, all kinds of spiritual decluttering there. I believe that intention has an impact on what you draw to yourself. If you are cranky about paying the bills and you come to resent the money, you come to resent everything and resentment is not a way to live. It's it's when things go wonky. I mean, have you ever noticed that when you're doing something in anger, the activity takes on a different feel? Uh, when I'm making something, when I'm angry, I lose things, I break things. It doesn't go smoothly at all. And, okay, so I'm going to bear my soul here. I made masks. I had set, I was making these masks from a place of, well, everybody else is doing it, I guess I got it. My heart really wasn't in the making of it. So, so many things went wrong. I broke needles. 
the thread kept breaking. I ran out of supplies and I could not find replacements online or in, sto in, online or in store. I had to make it myself. I just, oh, I got so cranky and resentful that I then made a really rookie mistake. I sewed over a pin that had a plastic top on it and it also moved and, and hit the, the copper wire I had going in there and my needle shaft went out of alignment and I had to take my machine into the shop to get it fixed and get it in alignment. Yeah, I had a friend's machine I borrowed. And no, I was so busy throwing a tantrum, I did not. I, I didn't use it. I waited for five days to get my machine back and then I just I had to get those masks done. Grr. And I still don't. I mean, they're there. I'm, I need to change the energy on them. But uh, <laughs> it was, I know there are other ways I can contribute. Um, intention, as we're getting around to, is about attitude. I hope you've heard the phrase, an attitude of gratitude. I'd love for you to be applying that. But if you haven't heard it, ta -da! There it is, an attitude of gratitude. Um, I was on an intuitive panel recently, and there was a client who asked a question about what they needed to do to create this amazing life they've always envisioned for themselves. And my take on it was that if you have an attitude that your life is amazing right now, it all falls into place. Um, part of that amazing life creation is to have an attitude of gratitude. I am grateful that I can sit here and figure out how to work this and convey information to you that I think is Im important. Um, I do have an amazing life. I've overcome a lot. And I encouraged her to see that her life was amazing, that she was amazing. And bringing up gratitude and being thankful, it really does change everything. In fact, um, as I told her that she was her own superhero her jaw dropped and her hand landed on her heart with the fingers spread open and you could feel her perception shift that she had had an amazing life the whole time she just finally got to see it it was cool to see that uh, when you approach anything in your life with a positive intention, the channels of energy will lie. That's when inspiration comes, is when you're trying, when you're not trying hard. <laughs> and when everything is relaxed, it all flows better. I, I, okay, so let's just take a moment and huge everything up. I mean, just your toes and your fingers and your arms and your body. You can't even breathe and nothing it's moving and it's just shaking from the effort. Feel how draining that is. And now, breathe and relax and allow the energy to flow. Navigating life is so much easier when you set the intention, when you allow the energy to flow through you, when you allow the love to flow through you and go. Feel it. I use intention a lot. You would say, you could say I have an abundance of intention. And when I do a lot of my stuff, as I record these videos and I, I set my intention, boy, that tension really just kind of locked me out. Okay. So <laughs> I set intention for so much of what I do. Um, my intention for these videos is to give you information to provide you with um, tools to navigate these interesting times and other times. Um, it also allows me to put my thoughts into words. And, and 
yeah, I just share the love. Uh, I cook. When I cook, I have an intention of providing delicious food for my family, uh, having, in, enhancing health, and having a good time, the community feeling of eating a meal together. When I knit or crochet or fiber craft, I set an intention of peace, love, healing for whatever project it is I'm doing. And I love to do shawls. I will incorporate that when I was knitting up pussy gas three years ago. Peace, love, healing, um, empowerment, equality. I felt that I was really having an impact there. And it really does. As you set, start to get into the practice of setting intentions, it really does get easier. The more you do it, the easier it gets. And you'll be able to just you know, set intentions on the fly. <laughs> what it truly boils down to is that intention is your attitude. Um, I'm not asking you to be fake. Intentions are sincere. They're authentic. And... So this gets into how to set an intention. Everything starts with a, with deep breathing. <laughs> it just does. You will find that on my uh, podcasts. But everything starts with deep breathing. And decide what outcome you want to manifest. Whether it's um, the highest outcome for everybody involved or to get through the day, to drive through traffic calmly and safely, to, I don't know, to, to go into the zone so you can do your creating easily. Just calm your mind and envision the highest and best outcome for whatever it is and surround it with love. Uh, visualizing, really, I, I, I can't emphasize visualizing it turning out well can't emphasize that enough. Now, you can put this intention into words, whether you write it down or you speak it. You can just think it. But you can remind yourself of it every so often. Um, sticky notes are really good for that, putting it on your laptop. Today I will be calm. Today I can handle all of my, all of my tasks. You know. Today I love myself for who I am there. You've set an intention. Okay, look. <laughs> okay, there is so much negativity going on these days. Um, and some people bask in the negativity all the time. You can choose not to. You can choose to take a moment and step past the negativity to find the positive that in itself is, is setting an intention and being sincere in what positivity there is around you um, it's authentic sarcasm is not authentic it, it, it has a It's got a cattywampus effect on things. I don't use sarcasm. I do look at things uh, sincerely. So your intention needs to come from a place of authenticity. So you can change your attitude about the world around you. As you approach any task, any project, as you approach your life, check your attitude at the door. Breathe deeply to calm yourself and to relax. Set your intention to be a positive influence on the world around you. And love. That's pretty much it. So thank you for listening. And yeah, thank you. And until next time, blessings.